Hi guys. Uh, hope you can uh, bear with me. Uh, I've made a model out of some paperboard, and in the process, I've made a few modifications. Um, the base. I've I didn't feel that the base needed to be as big as we had originally laid it out. So it's got an eight-inch front, a four and a half inch back end, still trapezoidal, um, and it is seven inches deep. Notice that the um, side walls are here, and that's primarily to provide easy access underneath to the, the pivot point, which is going to be right here. So, uh, as you notice, I've got three pieces. This little piece here is going to be like a turret. And it actually came off the end of this piece. So, in essence, we're fabricating, fabricating three pieces, the base and two 11-inch channels. Two 11-inch channels. One inch taken off of this and used as the turret. And then we have this arm here. Notice that the corners are rounded. And I figured in order to make this work, swivel, that's the only way you can get. It. So here's your first pivot point right here. So here's your base underneath. This is a, a nut, or whatever, a wing nut underneath. Fits like that. So now you have a swiveling turret base like this. Okay. There's still plenty of area here to put a counterweight. Okay. I just felt that it needed to be a little bit more compact. Now the curves here, this this arc is basically is based on a quarter. So once these are made, uh, then we can use a quarter to, to draw an arc and then just use a grinding tool okay, and cut these. Now the, the tabs, I thought maybe we could actually cut notches in the fabric. Instead of having to try and cut in here, right, cut down, lean across, maybe um, the possibility of actually notching the fabric Okay, so this one particular piece is going to be straight across because it's one inch of it is that little turret. This is this piece here, this 11-inch piece, is going to be have to have notched at both ends. So you basically cut a notch in the fabric. If if it doesn't come out perfectly, you know, refined, then it can be ground down. But I think grinding it down, the only so in essence, the only cutting that needs to be done is to cut this right off of there, that that one-inch piece. So that ends up being 10 inches. And then this fits in here. And actually, uh, other than grinding flash, we'll have to grind the arcs on the ends of these. So here you have it. I'm going to get it to stand as best I can. This turret allows you to swing this in any direction. The curves allow you to swing this, these arms forward and backward. So this can actually rest when you want to put this thing away. You just pull it down like that, and then this arm goes in, in back, goes into into this arm. And this is this is your compact. This is at the ready. <laughs> put it in your briefcase. Take it out of your briefcase. Okay. Unlock your nut down here. Swing it up, tighten it up. You can put this perpendicular if you want. Tighten it up. Swing this out. The camera's attached to this end right here. I'm not exactly sure what to do down here. If we want to just have a have a a, a, a bolt, uh, a clip, or what at this point for the camera. But this is this is basically how it. Now I'm gonna. I'm willing. I want you guys to give me some feedback on this. Okay, um, so there it is. So I hope you've.
hope you've enjoyed this little instructional video. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. See you later.